we don't really want to share that with you. If too much of that gets out, we'll just be packed full of people. Though seriously, what we do in the computer department is we're the hub of the Cartroller website and all our partners' websites. We're writing technology that serves millions of queries every day for people searching for cars. We've got lots of different types of developers represented on the team. You've got your you know, quiet headphones on, work away, uh, almost in a dark room types, and then you've got the louder types like Declan who will uh, rugby tackle you on your way to your desk. In R&D we have about 70 different types, you know, we have alphas like me, I've been programming for more than 20 years, and C first, then C++, then everyone's writing in Java here now on the server side, and then on the front end we have lots of guys with 10 years experience, the young guys, and they'd be writing you know, JavaScript, they'd be using Angular, they'd be doing CSS stuff, design, and a lot of programming. There's a lot of young faces coming in. A lot of people who are probably just out of college or two, three years out of college. I think we need that. The kind of innovative, creative side of bringing in a next generation of developers as well. The old motto, uh, break it, fix it, break it, fix it quickly, rather than big six month software cycle. So we would deploy our production servers couple of times a day. So if you write a big piece of price and functionality or user interface stuff, you might, you know, give it an hour or two of testing, run through QA people to give it a quick barrage, but you'd be deploying it, you know, within an hour or two of writing it. A lot of companies will talk about that whole continuous integration, continuous deployment model. We actually live it. Yeah. And um, it can be pretty uh, daunting at first when you join, but it's pretty exciting to see your changes taking effect within you know, days, maybe hours uh, of implementing them. And that goes back to, you know, we don't spend huge amounts of time in workshops and meetings and planning. We just try stuff and we look to see how it behaves and our scientists tell us you know, from the data how it's behaving. For techies, for programmers, same as me, you know, I'm, I'm a programmer, I'm a hobbyist first. If I interview someone, you know, the most important thing I want to hear is that they actually love programming. Because if you don't love what you're doing, you can't be good at it. Technology companies speak an awful lot about building new technology and doing exciting work in the field of technology. Cartroller really you know, walks the talk on that one. There's like sports clubs, social clubs, there's constant events, nights out, um, tag rugby as we talked about, table tennis leagues. The list is endless. Just do everything, do it all, it's great, it's fantastic. The work is, is, is half the fun, uh, as cheesy as that sounds.